uh, what kind of theme can we do for this one? Like, we have fairy tale theme going on over. Or, I guess, dragon theme. But I don't think we could fit dragons over here. Hmm. I guess snake thing. I guess a snake is sort of. Yeah, we could do dragon and snake sort of meme. I don't know if there's any like snake <laughs> items that I can just place down, right? I, I guess I could check. Let me check uh, snake. I doubt it. I doubt it. Oh, whoa, never mind. Animatronic snakes. Uh, snake pit small. Ugh. Oh, God, it's moving. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I can have a gold snake statue. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> What? What? Cancel that, but I wanted to rotate it. There you go. Oh my god, I could just have the head here. Or I could have like a gigantic heckin' snake just kind of all over the place. And then here's the tail. Here's the head. Here's the body. Here's like a body going like through. Oh, I could have it like going through. Ooh. Okay, let's do that. So we could have this the tail kind of coming out like right here. So there's the, there's the pillar for the tail to stand on. Is that nicely fit? Whoa, that was lucky. Now you can tell it's kind of off a little bit right there, but I, that was lucky I made that fit like almost perfectly there, you guys, holy heck. And then we could have like snake, like body kind of, yeah, kind of like slithering back and forth like that. And then up here is going to be where the head goes, yeah. You guys can see what I'm doing here? Yep. Oh my gosh, if you guys are afraid of heck and snakes, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, then we, we could have this for the head or like the neck or whatever you want to call it. And then right here is where the head goes. We could rotate around like this. Oh, this is going to look so cool! Oh my gosh! Look at that! That is awesome! That is so cool! I wish the tail kind of kind of curved a little bit, but I, I, not too big of a deal, I suppose. Oh, we could have the same thing, but made out of, like, sandstone or something. What was this? I guess we could kind of have it. I guess I could, yeah, I could always rotate that thing and have it kind of curved if I wanted to, but... Oh my gosh, this looks cool. So it was 6%, now it's up to 50! Hey! I like all it is, it just plays... Oh my gosh, I don't even know how much... Well, these are $5 a piece. I thought they'd be way more expensive than that. Jeez. But uh, we have animatronic snakes. Of, oh, gosh. I don't even know if I'm like a... Almost said arachnophobe. <laughs> I don't know what the uh, afraid of snakes meme is. But, oh, oh, it even attacks? No way. That's stupid. Uh-oh. Yeah, let's... <laughs> Should I put these here, you guys? Here's a small snake. Here's a gigantic one. Here's an agitated one. Whoa. What does this one do? Is this... I'm like the other one attacked, too. Uh oh, what's it doing? Oh, he's just kind of looking at people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's looking at him. Oh, let's put him like right there. Literally a giant egg snake. Oh god, it's oh, no! Get that out of there! Oh my god, I'm gonna put snakes at the bottom. I'm gonna put snakes at the bottom. No, this is gonna be so nasty. This is gonna be so disgusting. Let's go down here. Let's put snakes at the bottom of this. I don't even know if this accounts for a little myth bust. Let's myth bust. I doubt it's gonna account for Q scenery. Let's uh, let's see. We're at 16% right now. I guess the an an animatronic one didn't do anything. We could do uh, a snake pit and just hecking snakes in the heckin' water as you pass over it. Ugh! Oh no! We could put small. Oh man, they're all they're passing over it right now. Oh no! So it was at 16% right there. Oh no! Yeah, okay, myth busted. Having it, like, decorating the ride itself does not do anything for actual cue scenery, so let's get that back. Oh my gosh, a gigantic pit of snakes! No! Let me get that out of there. Jeez! What's this one? Oh, it's a snake in a tree! Another animatronic snake. Another one on a tree branch. So I could probably put a tree here, you guys, and then sneak this one, like, inside the tree, and then people won't even notice it. Ooh. This one, like, uh, stri- Ooh, he's, like, striking at you. Oh, look at that mouth. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, let's, let's get a tree. Let's get a tree here. Hold on. Let's just find a, a big tree that we could kind of hide that in. Uh, I don't know what kind of trees would actually fit in this, like- Ooh. That's a bit of a tall tree. Can't really hide it in such a tall one. I kind of want to have it like, like attacking and basically like it. Oh yeah, look at that. You have the heckin' snake right there. Jeez. What is this? Spooky tree. Oh my god, does it have like- Oh yeah, it has eye- or uh, a mouth and stuff. Yeah, I forgot about that. I guess we can put this over here for some strange reason. Just kind of go along with that spooky haunted house. <laughs> oh, there you go. Spooky tree. And uh, maybe we can put like a pumpkin in there or something crazy. That'd be kind of stupid, but whatever. Well, anyways, what else was I doing here? Oh, yeah, wishing tree. Oh, yeah, we saw that one earlier. Yeah, we don't want to put the heck of snake in this thing. Actually, I don't even think... This might have been in the lost footage. I might have used this wishing tree in the lost footage or something like that, but it has a heckin' face on it. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> anyways, short palm. Nah, it's too short. I want to find one that's kind of in the middle of what we just had. Fairy tale. What? 
tree archway. Oh my gosh, that's kind of crazy, but dead swamp, maybe? I like snakes in a swamp, kind of makes sense. This actually, let's, let's type swamp. Swamp, so we have swamp tree here. Ooh! Don't really fit, like you can't really, <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's attacking the little kid right there, jeez! Dead swamp tree, we can, we can put some of these around here like this. Just kind of scatter them like this, you know? So there you go, kind of rotate them. Get another dead swamp tree like this. Kind of get some variations, you know? So there you go, get some, ugh, disgusting dead swamp trees. Everywhere. Alright, so we've got a decent variation of them right there. Probably put another one like, I don't know. Oh god, look at all that. Ugh. Probably want to put some like bushes and stuff around here too, but let's go to snake now. And let's see, oh gosh, what was that? Oh yeah, there, uh, we can put crocodiles over here too. Oh! God! Oh, what was this thing? Ancient snout? Is that like for a pig or something? What is that? No, oh yeah, and then snake pits. Golly, get that out of here, Ada. Jeez. Uh, oh yeah, we can probably have like some smoke or uh, like mist. We can probably do that, you guys. And it was just put a, uh, oh, like it doesn't even fit. Oh, I could probably change the color of the tree branch then, yeah. Okay, well, let's do this. Rotate it around like this. Have a heckin' oh my gosh. And we have to rotate the snake. Oh my god, look at him! Ah! Man! And then, uh, oh, I know I need to rotate it again. There you go. And then let's move it upwards and kind of connect it to that tree. And then we have to change, like, the color and stuff for you guys. Oh my gosh, you're not even gonna notice the snake until it's, like, right above you. Jeez. Alright, well, there you go. How do, oh, where's the branch at on this one? That's the color of the snake. Oh gosh, reset that. Uh, what's this one? Oh, it's like his belly. Is this the tree? No, it's like his. What in the world? There's two. T what? Wait, did I place two of them accidentally? Hold on. Oh, I think I did. Whoops. Oopsie doopsie, right? Sheesh. Uh, oh, wait, what in the world? It's gone. Okay, well, there it is again. Okay. okay. Anyways, which one is it? Black? No, that's the spots. Wait, I can't, can't, I can't change the color of the branch. Oh, uh, I can make it a blue snake. That's kind of cool. I'll make it green. Let's make it green kind of fit in with the, uh, the swampy theme. I don't even know if there are green snakes, but hey, if there's a snake specialist out there, then hey, let me know. Well, there you go. There's a big old snake on a branch just kind of hanging out. Which one is that? Is that... Here's the strike one. Yeah, that one's going to attack you. He's going to be like right up here. Uh, or maybe I can put him over here. Yeah, put him over here. <laughs> Let's attach him to this tree because this tree is kind of white. So we, we kind of blend in a little bit, but then again, that, that branch itself is kind of thick. Too thick for this tree, but whatever. Who's going to notice? <laughs> Anyways, let's connect it up. Now we can rotate it. And actually, uh, yeah, yeah, attack all the people that aren't in the priority line, yeah. Actually, if we do that, yeah, let's do it the other way around. So let's rotate him this way so he attacks people from behind. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, I love I love just messing around with these animatronics, you guys. It's so fun. There we go, nice. All right. Oh, yeah, let's change the color of this guy. What color should this one be, like blue? Or red? Isn't there like a... There's some sort of like phrase that you could remember to... Yeah, like, if he's black and yellow, he's he's a friendly fella or some meme like that? I don't know. If you guys know it, let me know in the comments down below. Maybe there's like a black on red and you're dead or some meme? I don't know. You guys probably know it better than me, or at least Google it or something, jeez. Anyways, let's look at the QC. So it's at 30% right now. We haven't added any flowers, no bushes. Are there any swamp... Like, bushes... That we can put down? Where would that be? Uh, nature, yes. So, uh, swamp. Yeah, just the, just the trees, I guess you could say, for that. And then, uh, I guess we could find... Oh, that, that might fit in a swamp. Kind of looks d disgusting and swampy. So I guess we could kind of place some of these down, I suppose. Let's get a few of those going. There we go, noise. You can hear this guy making noise over here, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's, like, dead bushes over here. That kind of goes along with the, uh, the haunted house and swamp theme, I guess you could say. So that's not too bad, I suppose. We can kind of hide the... Bottom of the tree in the... There we go. And let's move that over just a little bit. There we go. Man, he's... <laughs> he's just attacking everyone of us. Oh, I love this, you guys. And this one's just kind of hanging out. And then this one's going to, like, strike at you and stuff. <laughs> he striked and then they moved forward as he did it. It kind of looked like they got spooked. <laughs> oh, I love this, you guys. I'm loving this Titanimo and meme we've got. Look at that. Look at, look, at, look at the smile on that woman right there. She's about to get spooked. <laughs> She don't even care. She don't even notice. Were there any kids over here? Yeah, you can see, physically, you see that this is pretty much nothing but adults and teens. I'm not seeing, like, any children. Oh, gosh. Well, I guess, it, I don't know. Yeah, that's a child right there. That might be a child right there. So, you know, like I said, mainly adults and teens. Although, all ages can ride this thing. Let's see if anyone is uh, saying anything about this right now. 
Um, the Titanobo is the place the advert talked about. Yep, I want to go on the Titanobo. That's great. I wonder if we can actually start charging money. Let's, let's go to 15 bucks. Let's make money. Let's make heckin' money. Uh, do I ever pay off my loans? Uh, yes, I paid both of them off. All right, that's good. Just making sure. Anyways, how are we doing? Uh, so we've, we've got medium reach monthly profit of 3,000. Now we just need to hit park rating of 600, which we're currently at 420. That's pretty... We're, we're blazing through this, you guys. Not bad at all. Just need to get another 180, and we'll be good to go. And we should be able to do that, no problem, considering how much I can free space we have over here for uh, other rides and stuff like that, you know? But I feel like the main gem of this park thus far is this, the Titanoboa. And we're having some fun just kind of decorating it right now, so that's awesome. Anyways, uh, monthly running cost is $2,000, potential income is twenty. So we're only making... Three hundred dollars a profit. Yeah, I'm. I, yeah, I needed to put the heck in price up, you guys. Oh yeah. Sheesh. Eleven minute queue time. Not even bad. Honestly, could be hardcore worse. But hopefully, if oh man, a lot of the vendors are unhappy and or oh man, yeah, I should definitely give them raises and stuff. Yeah, this one's been working for who knows how long without any raises or anything. Yeah, let me give raises to every all my staff. I'm like, I don't even have that much staff. Oh gosh, yeah, leave the high workload. Yeah, let's give you a raise. Let's go for like one sixty-five. There you go, one sixty-five. You have a high workload over here as well. You're going to be 135, and you're going to be 305. There you go, 305. So everyone got a raise right there, so that's good. I don't even have a uh, uh, a work roster for these guys, so I should probably do something about that once I get more of these uh, vendors over here, you know? But, uh, oh man, look at that. Look at, how, look at how easily you can read that from afar. The Titanoboa. Man, that's awesome. Yeah, I need to get these hedges and stuff. Maybe I'll build more of them like along this, uh, this roadway right here. Yeah, let's do that. And then we have a heck of dragon over here, and heckin' snakes over here. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Literal snakes attacking people. Oh yeah, let's see. Do I have to research the, uh... Where is it? I don't know if I have to. I might already have it, the uh, information booth. I don't. Okay, I mean, it might be, like, stuck behind one of these then, so... That's fantastic. That's always a fantastic one to do. Street Fox Coffee. Mexile... Is that some sort of Mexican place? Let's do that, because I don't think we've had a... I'm like, we had a, bur or a burrito place earlier on, didn't we? Yeah. So I'm like, I just haven't heard of this Mexalate or whatever that place was called, so that's going to be new to us at least. Street Fox Coffee, that was new last time, so don't need that. That's fantastic. I'm like, it is a gift shop, so I'm like, yeah, then again, we only, the only drink place we have right now is the Gold Beat Energy, so might want to do that one as well. And we have money, so might as well, ju might as well just research all of them. And marketing, let's go to the Dolts. There you go. Oh, man, this is going to be... This is going to be expensive for you guys, so let's attract adults with that one. Uh, and then let's go to teens with the newspaper and families with the newspaper. There we go, so we're, we're attracting mainly adults. Or should I attract families? Hmm, because of course they don't have to pay more for the kids. Uh, let's do that then. <laughs> let's do family hour to attract families. Which one was it to attract the, uh, yeah, let's get rid of that one. And then attract adults with that one, so let's do that one. There we go. So now we're going to be attracting adults, we're going to be attracting teens, and we're going to be attracting families there. So that's going to be a lot of our money down the drain right there, you guys. Holy yeah, Man. Anyways, uh, is there anything? Oh yeah, there are rides we can uh, research as well, but I think there are already... Are, yeah, our research slots are all taken up right now. Let's actually... Uh, let's max this one out. The Mexilente? Sounds like a Mexican place that's pretty excellent. <laughs> so might as well... Let's research that one a little bit faster so we can just kind of see what it is. We already know what Street Fox is, we already know what Hats Fantastic is, so don't need to worry about that. For right now, we might want to build some more shop places over here, you guys. Unfortunately, I can't take these and like duplicate them and stuff, so if I wanted to have more of them, I'd have to build my own. So that kind of sucks. But, uh, oh, is there anything I could kind of put here in the middle other than shops? Because I don't think I'm going to be putting actual shops here in this middle bit. I'm going to be putting them on the outside, yeah. But in this middle bit, I could probably put. I'm thinking water. Oh, I can't do terrain! I was thinking I could put like a lake there. Man, I thought I could put a lake there, but... <sighs> oh yeah, if we had a lake there, I could have put the lily pads there. That would have been so cool. Man! Well, we have petunia flowers. We could add these flowers, like right here. There you go. And I know we could kind of customize the colors and stuff, but I do like that vibrant purple and pink we have going on right there. So we'll just put those there for decoration, just temporarily. And then... <sighs> oh man, cacti too. Is that new? That might be from like some sort of western theme or something. I don't know. And then of course we have the classic Skevolas. So you might want to keep those in mind here in the future. Oh yeah, let's continue adding these bushes over here. What's our current rating at? 36. So it went up a little bit there by adding these uh, weird bushes and stuff. So let's add more of those. Uh, what was it called? Haunted? Or what was it called? Spooky? What was it called? Oh, never mind. It just has it's like a straight up name. Okay. So Creosote 
bush. <laughs> if I'm even remotely pronouncing that in any shape or form correctly. <laughs> well, let's place some of these down like this. Kind of have the snake hide behind the bushes. There we go. I don't really want to put them around this like snake like this, but I might have to. And I want to have that snake kind of like clean so you can see it easily, but I don't know. I guess I could put bushes around it. And then, I guess you could say the snake is kind of hiding in the bushes a little bit, even though it's a literal golden snake. <laughs> Literally a snake made of gold. There we go. What is it? Uh, what is this again? King Cobra or some meme? Kind of looks like one. I'm like, I'm not a snake specialist, so hey. There you go. And I was like, I guess I'll just place down more of these bushes like so. Just kind of fill in the empty gaps and stuff, you know? Just kind of get- Oh man! You can actually hear, physically hear- Physically hear? Is that a thing? I don't know. You guys can actually hear, like, the crowd getting louder over there, so that's good. More people means more money, because we need that money. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. We have more and more bushes over there, so that's good. I still have room over here for bushes and stuff. Uh, I might I might slip in some other stuff there. We have room over here for more of them as well, but... Uh, oh, yeah, I have literally nothing right here, you guys. Holy heck. So that's more over here, too. All right, looks like our queue scenery is up to 60%, which is actually not that bad, considering all I did is just place down some more bushes, so that's great. So it jumped up significantly there. And I may add some more around here, but I kind of want to see, like, what else we'd add there, but I may worry about that some other time. Uh, maybe I'll add another sign over here that says the Titanaba, or maybe I'll just duplicate this one. Is there, a, is there a smaller version of that one, though? Hold on. There may be. Now, where did I go for that? Uh, I think it was building? And then it was like a filter, wasn't it? It was like editable sign or something? Yeah, editable text. And then where was it? It was like this red one. There's a spooky sign right there. I guess I could add uh, the spooky sign to add it to the uh, to the building over here. So, can I do that? I'm like, I could. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's, let's add a spooky sign right here. It may even help out the uh, the queue scenery over there for that queue. So, that's good. Vomit in here. Exclamation points. Vomit in here. <laughs> let's go. Uh, there you go. Oh, let's make the outline like black. There you go. And let's make the actual letters all white like so. There you go. Vomit in here. So that's going to be advertising, uh, well, not anything, well, I guess advertising first aid, huh? Well, let's actually see if that affected anything. So it was like 60? Yeah, it didn't affect it, so it's, it's still 60 there, so that's, that's, that kind of sucks, but whatever. Check up on the, uh, the research and stuff. Yep, Mexalente is done. Oh, yeah, that looks, let's look at it. What is it? A Mexican fast food place, maybe? Like a Taco Bell or some meme? <laughs> let's go down to, there it is. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I don't have a filter. Uh, yeah, I don't have a filter. Oh, wait. I have Gulpy Soda and Slush? Why did I put energy over here then? Or maybe I researched drinks a little later and I didn't even realize it. Anyways, we do have a vending machine here, so I guess we'd add this. Like we, you know, like we did on the other maps and stuff, just so, you know, there's a vending machine there and people can use it. If the heckin' line over here is too full or something, you know? But, uh, oh yeah, let's see if we can give a, another raise to our staff. Uh, yes. Let's give you one because your happiness isn't really doing too well, so let's go up to 180. And yeah, we can do the same thing for the janitor, guys, because there's only one of him, so there you go, up to 150 now. There you go. Alright, so hopefully you're doing a little bit better this time around, huh? Anyways, what was I doing over here? I was doing something with the, uh, vomit in here. <laughs> Thankfully that's there, right? Oh yeah, I need a bathroom. Someone said, uh, or I, I saw, physically saw someone, uh, that looked like they wanted to use a bathroom. I guess I'll just put this ba bathroom like this, just for right now. I know it looks like absolute butt. Uh, you know, let's put it at the front of the park. That way you have to kind of go through all the heck of stuff just to go to the bathroom, jeez. But uh, let's just put that there as like a placeholder. Or like, you know, so so so, so people have somewhere to take a dump. <laughs> you know? And then we can actually build a custom building for it later and actually move the bathroom module inside of it, you know? Oh, these people are going to go? Hey, look at that. What a coincidence. I place it down and they're immediately going inside. <laughs> that guy kid really needs to go. Golly. <laughs> Alright, so fairy tale theme. Let's be creative here, you guys. We have this this fairy tale thing right here to kind of take a little bit of inspiration from this one as well. Which one was that? Oh, here it is, right here. And this, one, yeah, this is a smaller version of it. Yeah, yeah. So you put this here and then put like, oh man, I don't have money. What in the world happened to my money? My money's gone. I'm, oh man, I'm in debt. What I do? What did I do? I didn't. Yeah, I stopped researching stuff. Uh, I stopped researching Mexalente and now I don't have any money. What happened? I had like four thousand dollars just like five minutes ago. <laughs> Now I'm broke. Uh, well, I am doing research and stuff. Yeah, that, that, I guess that's something. Yeah. Forget about that then. I'm like, we're getting more people in the park, which is good. So we should just forget about that for family hours. Let's just, golly, I can't even get anything else here. Jeez. Well, hopefully now that we're not paying for that anymore, hopefully we're going to save some money, but we're still bringing people in the park, which is good. But right now, uh, I guess I just have to kind of wait until I can actually, I can buy something because I'm in debt right now, you guys. Golly. Uh, the line over here actually is pretty healthy, like it's not, it's not like empty, you know? But it's also not like super duper full to the brim, so that tells me that, yeah, this ride 
it goes by in like a minute and a half. It, 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 I keep saying it, it eats through people pretty fast. You know, it eats through the line pretty fast. That sounds a little bit less savage, <laughs> I guess you could say. But, uh, yeah, it, I'm like, it's... It, <laughs> I guess you could say the snakes are eating through him pretty fast, too. <laughs> Look at that guy! He's gonna make a snap at someone! Oh, he's looking, he's looking around. Who's he gonna... Oh! oh, oh. oh. <laughs> just imagine being in line with... Oh, man! Just start attacking that guy. Oh, just imagine being in line and heck, a giant 8, 9, 10 foot tall snake start snapping at you. <laughs> That's so dumb. Oh, I didn't even notice this, you guys. But this is kind of in the shape of a heart. Should I modify this and make it like more heart shaped or should I keep it like this weird abstract heart? Like this was not intentional at all. I'm probably getting comments like, wow, did you even notice that was a heart? But yeah, look at that. That's a heart right there, you guys. Wow, that's cool. Uh, oh yeah, let's add benches up and, and uh, trash cans up here. Oh, I can't because I'm in debt. Uh, whoops. Am I paying for something? I'm like, I know I have two research right here, but they're going to be done pretty soon. Let me just max those out so they're done as fast as possible. But yeah, I definitely do need to get like, you know, Food, drink, shopping, stuff like that. Because that, that adds to our income as well, you know. Not just exclusively rides and stuff. Uh, you know, souvenirs. It's going to... Uh, hat's fantastic right there. That's going to hopefully bring in some good money. Because it always does. It's, it's always a fantastic, well-run shop. Always bringing in good money. Uh, either that or the... What's the other one? There's hats, and then there's... A, oh, yeah, the balloon one. The loony balloons. That's another one that brings in fantastic money. Uh, pun intended, I guess you could say. Anyway, Street Fox Coffee's done. Oh yeah, Street Fox Coffee, that was a popular one back on the other part, too. Oh, oh! Oh, I thought we got uh, another star right there. No, that didn't happen. <laughs> we got Street Fox Coffee, though. And that's fantastic. I wonder if we're going to get any new shop brands, or uh, any new uh, shopping places here pretty soon, because we're, we're getting new drink places in the form of that Street Fox place, and, uh, of course, the eating, or uh, food places in the form of the Mixalente we just unlocked. So I really want to place that down, though, but I just don't have the money. But now we're not researching, though, anymore. I guess I could get a loan, but I just need to figure out, like, where my money's going in the first place. What happened here? Park rating. Yeah, park rating went up. Uh, I want to look at expenses, though. So let's go to finances. Yes. Graphs. And it looks like park management. Ooh! Looks like, I guess, just paying the staff more is uh, starting to hurt me a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, staff wages. Yeah, look at that. It, it basically doubled right there from there to there. Marketing costs. Yeah, marketing. I guess you could say staff man or uh, park management as well. Yeah, marketing is not going to be as high as it was previously now that we're uh, getting rid of one of those marketing memes, you know. So hopefully we're not going to be in hardcore debt anymore, right? Golly. But as we add more rides and stuff, that's going to be more play. Oh, gosh, we're in debt to a thousand dollars now. Uh, oops. <laughs> I guess I have to take out a loan. Oh, man. Well, let's do that then. Let's take out a loan and, uh, oh, yeah, many guests are, I know, I'm going to open up a Mexican place here in just a moment. Sheesh, calm down. Uh, what is the, uh, what, what is the park entry thing? 750 still? Okay. Let's get a loan. Let's do 5,000 for right now. It's going to be a higher interest, but, uh, hopefully we're going to be able to pay it off sooner. It's actually pause the heck of game. That way we're not paying, like, loans and, uh, research and stuff like that in the background while we're trying to build over here, you know? But, let's go over here to building, and then let's keep a fairy tale theme for this whole entire, like, cul-de-sac over here, you know? It's a heart theme, I guess you could say, or heart shape. So let's see. Let's go to fairy tale for the actual, uh, where is it? Scenery theme. Yes, it's fairy tale. Let's do plank. Yeah, let's do this. Let's see if there's a shop front for this stuff. Yep, here it is right here. All right, so we're going to have a, uh, well, that would probably fit for, you know, it could fit for fairy tale theme. Like, it's not like they didn't have wood back in the day, right? Golly. <laughs> But let's add a steeple thing. Or, uh, what was I called again? Gable. God, I'm always calling them the wrong thing. Anyways. Oh, what is it up here? Oh, let's add a roof. Let's look at it. Let's actually physically look at the roofs. Uh, oh, there's no wood roof. But I'll probably get, like, a thatch one. Uh, so in that sense. Yeah, let's see if there's a uh, thatch roof for us. Thatch. Yep, here we go. Thatch roofs. Yeah, look at that. It actually fits pretty well there. And which one does this one have? I think this is the exact same one. Yeah, it looks like it. So I don't want to have two of them, of two of the same, like, right next to each other. Uh, although that wouldn't really matter too much, you know? Eh, yeah, let's just do that. Uh, oh, we could add this and kind of add a little bit of depth. So let's do that. There you go. A little bit of depth there. Not bad. Then we're going to need to go to walls. Let's go to the wood. I think it was what? Plank? Yep, wood plank. Ooh, we could add this to add a little bit of depth to it. Yeah, let's do that. Even though it wouldn't really... It, there we go. I'm like, hey kind of fits. Might as well add it, right? So let's add the, uh, the gables to add these and, uh, see if we can make it fit a little better. Uh, yes. Okay, there you go. Now you can see it. Okay. But, 
Yeah, I'm like, it has a little bit of depth to it, but you can't really see it too well. Maybe it is a better idea to use, like, the lime plaster or whatever there. At least for the back. I guess we could keep this wood arch here. Just a sort of a little bit of decoration, you know? But I guess we could use, like, lime plaster as, like, the inside bit, you know? I guess we could do that. Let's do that. Gingerbread? Oh, I can't have a gingerbread house? Man, that would have been funny. <laughs> oh, but we have concrete. Uh, yeah, I don't really too, look too well there. Brick, we could have classic, modern, brick. Yeah, let's do uh, rough. That'd probably make it look old, right? That'd be good. Yeah, I like that. We do that. Is there like a street? Yeah, here we go. Like a street wall. Is there a shop? Yes, there's a shop front right here. So that's good. So we could have like a brick house basically right here. So uh, let's get rid of this shop front right here. We're not going to need that anymore. Let's get rid of the wooden uh, gable there. And let's place the shop uh, brick shop front right here. Then we're going to need a big old tall old gable. Well, here's a support post here. We do. This one has a base. Ooh, interesting. Kind of makes it look rustic and industrial a little bit. You know, I don't even, I don't, those might be two completely conflicting uh, adjectives or whatever, but <laughs> whatever, you guys know what I mean. I don't know if I'm going to keep that, this wood, like, like front though. I might get rid of this, just kind of, yeah, it even fits in with the, uh, like the framing of that too. That's pretty good. I'm liking this so far. Yeah, let's get rid of this back bit too. You know what? I'm, I'm kind of liking these sandstone bricks more than the, uh, whatever this is. It's making it look a lot more old and rough, so let's get rid of these for right now. And then we can replace it with the sandstone and see how that looks. Look at that, like, weird shell that we built there, you guys. And let's move those over. There we go. So that's what it looks like now. Looks very old, you know? Let's get that, uh, that gable on the top. I remember this time, geez. Oh, look at that! It even has a door there! Huh. Eh. I'll worry about that some other time, but right now... Try to get this on the roof. There you go, there's one right there. And the other... Right there, nice. All right, I think it's looking super old, you guys. This one's looking all pretty and stuff. This one's all old looking. <laughs> I guess you can say, I'm like, it has flowers on the outside and stuff. Yeah, let's look at like windows and stuff, if there are any decorations. Yeah, here we go. Windows, barred windows, rectangle. I guess we could just kind of place this down like this. There's one there, there's one there. Place another one here and another one here. They're not going to be lined up perfectly. Yeah, like one of them is a little bit lower than the other. I guess I can fix that real quick. Uh, let's actually put the shop on the inside, though, so we can kind of see how it looks with the shop there. So what was it called? Mex Mexalente. Either way, there you go. Hey, uh, Mexalente. So we have that going. I really want something in the front, like an awning. So let's see if we, we can find anything that'll fit that, though. It's like some sort of thatch awning, similar to this one over here. Like, it just kind of, or literally the exact same thing, you know? <laughs> I guess I'll just steal it, just because why not, right? I don't think I'm going to put, like, flowers on the outside. I'll probably keep it as is. It probably looks fine from the outside. And I, I'll just put the awning here, and that'll probably be it. Or, like, the, the thatch awning. There we go. All right, and now let's add... Mexalente. A little, uh, custom sign for it. So, or awning for it. So there you go, Mexalente. There you go. And we could add an actual, uh, sign. Hey, look at that! It actually fits pretty well there, you guys. Oh, yeah. Mexalente. What does this one look like? Oh, that's interesting. Uh... Hmm... Yeah, I might go for this. This one looks really cool, you guys. Let's add this. There you go. Excellent. Excellent. Let's add that, uh, let's move it outwards a little bit so it actually, there you go, sticks out. And it's not, like, stuck in the wall. But there you go. Excellent. We got it, you guys. Now I might want to move this backwards. Yeah. Advertised destination is going to be that one. There you go. Might want to move it backwards, though. Yes, move the whole thing. There we go. Just so we have a, a little bit of room for, like, a queue or something. Excellent. And there we go. We have, a, we have our own custom build. Not, not quite as beautiful as this one over here, but honestly... Looks kind of cool. I like it though. What was the back of the other one look like? Yeah, she's got, she's got like vases or whatever over here, and like a pot and like another one. Yeah, there's no window back here, no door or anything like that. I guess if we'd add something real quick. I guess if we'd add that. To, uh, oh man, is this thing flo? Oh, I thought it was floating. Well, I guess. Oh man, some of it is floating though. Yeah, you can see the posts in the back. Or I guess that's because of the land kind of sloping down a little bit. Nah, it kind of sucks, but whatever. All right, well, we have a door back here. Just kind of add a little bit of depth and a little bit of something back there. I guess, uh, employee-only entrance there, I suppose you could say. There we go. And then I guess if we... Oh, oh, yep, there we go. So it opens right there, so that's good. So now... Oh, man, I... I built that there and then put Mexalente there, and I never even... I forgot about the bathrooms. <laughs> man! Well, there we go. We have a food, now we have a... Dr uh, we have drink, and now we have food. And then we have a random, empty, weird default bathroom right there. <laughs> We're going to want to do something with that as well, but... For right now, I'm liking the way this looks, you guys. Like, it actually blends in with this. Like, I know the overhang of this, like, on the sides. I wish it kind of overhang a little bit better. It might. Now I think about it, we might be able to look into that. 
All right, that's probably good as that's going to get, honestly. It looks kind of weird. <laughs> Not as clean as this one over here, of course, but whatever. You kind of notice it, like, right there. You can see there's a split there and a split there, but whatever. It, I like it. <laughs> it gets the job done fine, I'd say. But uh, there you go. We have Mexalente there in the terms of uh, food. We have Yopi Energy Drink over there. Is there a Mexalente uh, vending machine? There may be. Now there is a uh, an actual shop. Usually it unlocks a vending machine counter. Oh, yep. Here we go. Right here. Mexalente vending machine. Going to be putting that like right there. There you go. All right. I don't even know what just said right there. Anyways. Was it? Oh, yeah. What do they sell here, though? Oh, I can't even customize like the price or anything like that. Is this... That's purely scenery? It doesn't even work? Uh, what? So if I place this down, is that scenery too? No, that's scenery too. What in the world? Uh, is this scenery? I think so. Like it's, I, I, I guess vending machines are disabled here? That sucks. Okay, let's get rid of that then. Let's get rid of that one too. Oh wait, no, never mind. Wait, why was that scenery for a moment? Go, B. Now oh, there we go, now it's working now. Very strange, you guys. I'm I was confuzzled there. But there we go, make it oh deluxe taco taco cactus taco cactus taco, jeez. Don't want to get your mouth prickled by thorns or anything like that. Yeah, look at that, you got tacos here. So it is basically like a heck of taco bell. Anyways, we have a food place there, it's looking pretty good. Honestly, I really like the way this is looking here, you guys. Uh we could put like a little is there a Mexalente like a little street sign? Like uh let's see. Let's put Mex Alent. Yeah, well there's this. But uh, I meant like like this, like that gulpy little sign there. Is there one of those? Let's see. I don't think so. Yeah, it's not coming up with anything. Just the awning and the the glowing Mexalente sign and this one that we basically used up there. So yeah, I don't think there's anything special there. I guess we could just kind of put it in the ground like this, I suppose. Or like here. But it'd be kind of weird putting that like right next to the actual shop. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. It actually blends in pretty well there, you guys. Like, honestly, could look better, but... I th for my for a custom building, I'd say it looks pretty fucking good. Not but oh gosh, when the world happened here? Oh, the Titanobo was down. I guess I was losing money. Oh, yeah, oh no, the Titanobo is broken down. Yeah, we'll get back in line because it's fixed now. Hater, give me your money. <laughs> How's this doing though? Uh, Q scenery is still 60, so yeah, should probably add more of those bushes or something like that. But honestly, like the swampy, snaky theme we've got it going on over here looks like it's working out pretty well. I oh yeah, let's see if the uh, priority pass place is uh, able to be researched now. Seems like ATM is next, and then maybe now we could do priority pass after that, maybe? I don't know. Let me see what the other people in the park are saying, though. Like, hey, I want more whatevers. There's not enough to do here. Yeah, that's the main thing people are saying is that there's just not enough to do here, which makes sense because there's three rides. I wish this park had a food shop. Well, hey, 25 people in the... 25% of the people in the park. You should be satisfied now that we have a taco place. So that's good. Top guest thoughts. Can I see more of that? Yeah, here we go. Wish there were more rides. Mexilente looks pretty. Yeah, we should probably get another food place to kind of... Even that out. Wish there were more rides. Food shop. Mexilente is busy. Titanopo is broken down. I'm thirsty. Yeah, well, oh, the litter's disgusting. I should probably get another janitor. Well, here's this guy. How's he doing? High workload. Man, there's so much litter on the floor. I wish we could do with more bins. Yeah, I should add more. Especially over there in that brand new area, you know. Let's do a staff training for him, though. There you go. Let's get his pay up to 165 per month. All right. So there you go. Hopefully, he's going to be a little bit better now. Let's actually... Now, now, now we have, actually have multiple... Uh, vendors. Let's actually... Oh, yeah, let's give you another one there. Oh, did I go... Oh, no, my gosh! No wonder I'm in debt. I'm paying the heckin' vendor guy $1,800 a month! Should be 180 Oh, my gosh! No wonder your happiness is heckin' full. You're getting paid, like, ten times more than you should have been! Oh, my gosh, I've been going into debt because of you! Oh, how long has it been like that? Man! Ah, oh, I should probably cut your pay just to make you up for that. <laughs> Let me just call it, uh, my old roster. There we go. There you go. <laughs> I don't know why I'm calling it that. It's kind of stupid, but whatever. So now we have that, we have that, and I think that's it. I guess I'll do bathrooms and the first aid, just because, why not? There we go. All right. Save work roster. Let's go to the vendors and make sure they're a part of my old roster. <laughs> there you go. Now, excellent take guys. Going to give him an upgrade up to 165 instead of 100, 1650. <laughs> Let's give him 165, because I don't have that, I can't be throwing around that kind of money, you guys, accidentally. Golly, no wonder I had no like, money. Jeez. Oh, I'm going, literally going into debt to pay some guy accidentally, like, ten times more than he should have been. Anyways, looks like slowly people are coming back over here, which is great. I'm like, I'd be kind of spooked to come over here, considering they're a literal snake anim animatronics kind of literally trying to attack me. <laughs> oh, 
have more people coming over here, which is great. Look at this guy. Oh, man, it must suck to clean these stairs like that, golly. But then again, he's just brushing the ground like a couple times and they just disappear right in front of you. So, hey, it's not that hard looking, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, there you go. We're doing a pretty job here in this park so, thus far. How are we doing on everything else? Oh, yeah, our park rating went down. <laughs> it was like 420, now it's 398. Whoops. Probably should have been, uh, I don't know. Oh, man. Sustained monthly profit. We're at negative 3558 and like 1800 of that was basically us paying some guy too much. We need to get more rides, you guys. Like, just basic rides, because... I guess, if anything, you could say those are where the money's made, in a sense, because I'm like, the roller coaster brings in good money and stuff, but at the same time, people want to ride other rides and stuff, you know? So, Hammer Swing, which one was that? Oh, yeah, we had that one somewhat recently. I guess we could do it again. Uh, I guess if we'd see what rides we could research. We have $600, so we could, we, we could kind of afford it, <laughs> you know? So let's, let's look at research. Cash down the sky. Think big. Let's do that one. Big brain time. Let's see uh, other coasters. Yeah, all about the air time. That one catches my attention, but I just... I don't think we have the room to fit in a custom coaster here, you guys. And then uh, I think what I'm going to do is pause the recording, let those research, and hopefully I'll actually have money when we come back. And then uh, when we do come back, we'll place down some more rides, hopefully get some more money in the park, and uh, maybe while I'm kind of waiting for those to research, I'll, uh, I'll place down more bushes and stuff over here, try and get up to 100%, see if I can meme around with any other, like, memes and stuff over there. Maybe I'll add, like, cacti for some strange reason. <laughs> I'm like, it is a snake, but it is a swamp theme, so having cacti here wouldn't really make too much sense, I guess. <laughs> but then again, there are little animatronic snakes attacking you. That doesn't really make too much sense, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, go to pause the recording, wait for those researches to finish, as well as, uh, hopefully not going to dead again, and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. <laughs> 